Welcome to Review Every Ship by CitizenCon 2024. The point is to give an update on every ship since some haven't had a video made about them in years. We'll go in depth, but we won't repeat everything on the RSI website. We will link to multiple sources of information, either in the description or in the comments. We are currently doing the Anvil Aerospace Manufacturer. We continue our series with the Anvil F8C and F8A technically, and it has one variant, but does it? For the price, the F8C as of 3.22 is $300 standalone, 260 war bond, and was the same at concept. No in-game price yet. The F8C also becomes available for purchase as a reward for completing the Squadron 42 campaign. The F8C is also a reward for reaching the Wing Commander level of Concierge, which requires spending at least $10,000 on the game. Yes, $10,000 on a video game. It has been done, and people have spent nearly three times as much. The ship is event limited. Outside of conditions I've mentioned, you need to find a silver ticket during a special event to purchase one or a gold ticket to get one for free. There is also a military version called the F8A that is currently unavailable to players outside of stealing one during an event, but we don't have any stats on that version. It is the military version. So we'll assume the stats are what you would get if you have all the parts upgraded to Class A military parts and maybe a little bit more hull HP and maybe a little bit better maneuverability, probably about the same speed. Few vehicles inspire the same awe as the legendary F8 Lightning. A force to be reckoned with, it has protected humanity countless times from countless threats at home and far from civilization. Yes! Legendary is exactly the word. It's gonna be legend. Wait for it. And I hope you're not lactose intolerant because the second half of that word is dairy. For measurements, the F8C has a length of 25, a beam of 24, a height of 6.5, and it is a small ship. Its minimum crew is one and its maximum crew is one. It can carry zero SCU. The F8C has a top SCM speed of 212, which is way above average, and a max speed of 1337. Lee which is also way above average. For maneuverability, it has average maneuverability. For its small class size, it's top five in speed and slightly below average in maneuverability. For weapons, the FAC has four size three weapon hard points, two size two weapon hard points, one size three remote turret, and two size four missile racks. For ship parts, the FAC has one medium radar, two small computers, one medium power plant, one small cooler, two medium shield generators, two small fuel intakes, two medium fuel tanks, one small quantum drive, one small jump module, and one medium quantum fuel tank. The hull HP for the F8C is 46,370, which is way above average overall, especially for its small class. It's way, way above average. I think it's actually top three of in-game ships. I think it's only bested by like the Terrapin and the hull A. The included shields on the F8C are the Shoot Stealth Grade B shields. These are front back type shields. The HP is 9,900 and the regen rate is 202 HP per second. The quantum stats for the F8C are speeds of about 149,000. It takes about three minutes to go 10 million kilometers and can go about 255 million kilometers, which is a, about average. The claim time for the F8C is about 16 minutes, expedited is about 5 minutes at 8,000 credits. For amenities, the F8C has the folding wings so it can fit in smaller spaces and smaller hangars. Now it's time to rate this ship. A rating I rate from 1 to 10, my 1 is only by if you have a unique reason that is specific to you or because you like the looks of the ship. My 10 is basically if you have the money, this ship is almost guaranteed to be useful to you in the game. A 1 doesn't mean the ship is useless or ugly and a 10 doesn't mean that the ship is perfect. Just remember, this is just our rating. Please give us yours in the comments down below. Go ahead, we won't bite. Ah, uh, he won't bite. <laughs> it's like, why you think that? Because he's never done it before? Well, maybe today is the day. <laughs> My rating for the ship overall is an 8. The F8C, I didn't do that on purpose, is one of the most incredible fighters in the game. It's one of the fastest fighters in the game, even though it's a heavy fighter. It's also It also has decent maneuverability for a heavy fighter. It has a ton of excellent guns, ton of missiles, even though it's a heavy fighter, it still manages to fit in that tiny hangar on top of the 890 jump. The only reason it's not rated higher is because it's expensive. 
it's got terrible availability it doesn't fight above its weight class it's not multi-roll at all it has a very weird roll rate for some reason but that could be fixed in a patch and the biggest reason it's more expensive than a corsair which does the same job but has cargo armor lockers allows you to bring a vehicle a scanning suite and it has the ability to carry a vehicle now why would i mention the corsair ship when it's not a combat ship and it's marketed as an explorer ship because a I want to show you how to get more bang for your buck. B, I want to have people comment about how the two ships are not comparable. C, I want to show you how limited combat ships are. And that last one is not a bad thing. You need to bring the right tool for the job when you are out in the verse. But every once in a while, you'll find a solid multi-tool. So I always want to just show you that option. The FAC is the fighter I would buy if I was a pure fighter pilot. It's not the dogfighter dream like the Gladius because of its average maneuverability, but what it is is the Gladius pilot's nightmare because this thing is built to destroy everything that's medium sized and below. It will struggle to fight a large and it won't really do much to subcaps or capitals, but that's not what it's for. This ship is to kill other fighters, and with this combination of firepower and speed, you can bet you can fight more than one and still have a high chance of coming out on top. But that's it. Do you need to do anything else? Get another ship. This is best used as a military fighter or to do bounties up to the moderate risk target level. It's also great for traversing from planet to moon or space station and vice versa because it's so fast. But I wouldn't do much quantum travel in it. Maybe one planet jump and that's about it. I would say I'd earn it in game, but you can't, at least not yet. Just buy Squadron 42 and earn your right to buy one by beating the game. Unless you get that golden ticket, of course. This one I'll actually be getting for free. I'm, you, I'm doing quotation marks with my fingers right now. You can't see it. But at some point, I'll get it for free because I lack any ability to make sound financial decisions and therefore have spent enough money to feed a small country on spaceships yeah if and only if you get this ship for free it is an absolute 10 but newsflash all ships you get for free are 10s because you didn't have to pay for it all free things are are, are are 10s as long as they're good things obviously mine isn't actually free it's more of a consolation prize for not being able to afford to eat for the rest of the year that all being said i think choosing these ships is really about what you want to do in game don't let us stop you from buying any ship you want you want to go get that trash collection ship or tugboat if you want it go get it if you want a ship just because it's pretty i respect it it's your game do what works for you or make the smart decision many people have made and earn everything in game through that old-fashioned grind all right that's it for this one thanks for spending your time with us peace <laughs>